Very excited again to close this morning with a look at our Sunday Mail, where we take your questions from Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Our first one comes from Jean. Jean asks, put it on there. So women's like products. That. I guess they are women's products <laughs> it works when you put well, it that though. way. Do you yeah. think it's working? Yes. I think it's you probably... You do not it. age. I never really considered it. Since I was like five years old. <laughs> look at that. It just doesn't move. There's nothing in it. It doesn't move. Our next question is from... It's no thing, because I think everybody thinks their way is the right way. Yeah. My particular way is wet it. Toothpaste, wet it again. A double wedding. A double wedding. I said, turn off the water while you're brushing. Yes. A lot Why of people waste leave the it water? Don't waste you know, the Calvin water. You know, Calvin puts a dry toothbrush in his mouth. Ooh. Can't even handle it. Here. Julian Edelman is back. That's right. <laughs> so now I must ask I you. I love me some Edelman. Dion. Okay, well, here, you get your choice. You have to make a decision. I Julian have to. Edelman or Rob Gronkowski? For Gronk. No. So you're going with Gronk? I'm going with Gronk. <laughs> Without him, they were, so they, they went with they, anybody other than they, Brady. Other than Brady. Okay, so and Belichick. So do yeah. you rest Gronk to your point about him always being? No, you can win without him. Gronk is not that kind of guy where he's going. I was tied to incentives. You don't get incentives. I'm yours. Uh, I'm 21, 21 a... vision. <laughs> they call me from they got winning. I, s- <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't even with winning. either one of you, Dion. As always, you're a busy man all day long on Sundays. You caught up with some stars today. Let's go prime time presented by Geico. So the odds for winning the the mega millions, the big jackpot, that's you know ridiculous. But there's also some smaller amounts that you can win as well. It's letting a machine pick the numbers because I've read that that is actually better to do as well. Well, I heard that, and I also heard if you people trying to give advice that if you buy, uh, say you say buy ten tickets, go to different locations buying those tickets. It's really just you know? it's really just <laughs> how safe it is. You have to check out the legitimacy of the sites. But I there's know one the, specific the, with site. the New York lottery, you can actually buy tickets online for the mega millions mm-hmm. uh, by subscribing, by being a, a subscriber. And then there's, I know, at least one or two um, apps that you can log on to as well, but only certain states will accept those. Well, if you if you live in New York, you can do a lot of ticket sales Crazy. on this very last day what today. What would you do with that much money? Gosh, what would I do? I would take a very long to vacation. Think hard about it. Somewhere Go to tropical. Disney World. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. All right, the time now is about six minutes until the top of the hour. Let's just hope we don't have uh, another major hurricane this year. And, yes. Uh, uh, let me just uh, close by saying um, I think the president's very lucky to have you. And I think you have served uh, the country very well in your first several months in office. And uh, you obviously have a command of the facts. And this, this job that, that you have and as chairman, you have to look at it, such a myriad of different issues. It's, it's, Really incredible. It's not like Department of Defense is looking at the military right. and, and war plans. It, it hits so many different uh, components, 22 agencies in, in one department. And uh, I know you're the first secretary that's actually had worked in the Department of Homeland Security. Mm-hmm. And perhaps that's why you have such a great command of, of the institution. Uh, and I know you will serve it well. And well, so I, I appreciate that. Uh, I'd love to take the opportunity in return to thank you for your leadership. Uh, there, as you say, there's so many topics, but uh, some of them that we didn't even get to is uh, emerging threats, uh, such as UAVs and, and chemical threats in particular. We're so thankful for your leadership on those. Uh, I think the key here, what keeps me up at night, uh, is not having the authority and the tools to address emerging threats. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we, we are so thankful for your committee uh, and your sister uh, committee on the Senate side for really helping DHS have the tools and resources and authorities we need uh, to do the job that all of you have asked us to do. So thank and, you. And we are working on the UAV threats. Uh, I mean, in closing, uh, that is that is emerging. I mean, the drugs coming across from the border to ISIS and al-Qaeda using it with explosive chemical weapons, this building we're in today. That's right. Could be hit by a, a drone rather quickly and it's very hard to uh, to see it and stop it in a matter of seconds. Right. So.